हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू माय लेक्चर फॉर क्लास इलेवन साइंस सब्जेक्ट केमिस्ट्री माय नेम इज प्रोफेसर टी वाई पाटिल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट यू मस्ट नो द मीनिंग ऑफ केमिस्ट्री केमिस्ट्री इज वॉट ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस विच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ कंपोजिशन स्ट्रक्चर एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर केमिस्ट्री इज डिवाइडेड फोर डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस that is also given in your textbook first is what physical chemistry second analytic chemistry third inorganic chemistry and fourth organic chemistry now what is meant by organic chemistry organic chemistry is the branch of chemistry which deals with the carbon compounds but not all the carbon compounds are considered to be organic compounds because compounds like carbon dioxide sodium carbonate carbon disulfide etc they contain carbon but they are not considered as organic compounds because carbon dioxide sodium carbonate ammonium carbonate carbon disulfide they are considered as inorganic compounds in the previous standards we have studied about carbon compounds in that we have study about alkene alkene alkyl etc so you know the general formula of alkene methane for methane n is equal to 1 that is ch4 if n is equal to 2 is ethane eth ethane if n is equal to 3 then you get what propane n is equal to 4 then you get butane that already studied in 10th standard so let us start on very interesting chapter that is basic principles of organic chemistry chapter number 14 See. we have already studied about carbon and carbon has unique property of catenation catenation means what the property of direct bonding between the atoms of same element to form the or chain is called as catenation and because of that unique property of carbon organic chemistry is considered as separate branch of chemistry and which is very vast you know that there are many things like to face so oils clothes medicines all these things are related with what organic compounds and we are going to study organic compound in detail in organic chemistry and see so first you must know about basic principles of organic chemistry so let us start with this chapter first you must know about the types of chemical bonds chemical bonds are of two types one is what ionic bond and second one is what covalent bond so you know that ionic bond is formed between metals and non metals see here sodium is a metal and chlorine is non metal and you know that every element or every atom try to become stable by accepting electronic configuration of inert gas element you know that the atomic number of sodium is what 11 so it is written as 281 if it loses this electron then it acquires positive charge so remember if any metal loses one electron then it acquires positive charge and if any atom loses two electron then it acquires plus two charge if if you consider aluminum two atomic number is 13 283 if this three electrons are lost then it acquires plus three charge means you remember on losing electron atom acquires positive charge as equal to the number of electron lost so here for sodium you get 21 na plus now it becomes what 28 similarly here chlorine 287 
Now non metal. Non metal non metal has ability to gain electron in order to complete the octet. See there are 287. There are 17 electrons in chlorine. Electron concentration can be written as 287. So it requires one more electron. So electron used by sodium is gained by what? Chlorine and then it becomes 288. So you get what? Chloride minus. Chlorine accept one electron, therefore it requires minus one charge. Now see, it is positive, it is negative. They are bonded by a single bond. This bond is called as what? Ionic bond. It is also called as what? Electrostatic force of attraction between sodium ion and chloride ion. See, Na plus having positive charge, it is called as cation and it is called as what? Anion. Remember that cation, anion. Now see the covalent bond. You know that carbon. Carbon contains what? Carbon contains six electrons and its electron concentration can be written as what? Two and four. So carbon contains four valency electrons and carbon has carbon has ability to donate these four valence electrons with other carbon atoms as well as other atoms like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, halogen, etc. See now the atoms other than carbon and hydrogen are called as hetero atom. You remember hetero hetero atom. Oxygen, nitrogen, they are considered as what? Hetero atom. Other than carbon and hydrogen. Now <coughs> see carbon is not able to carbon is not able to donate or gain electrons. So carbon can share four valence electrons with carbon as well as it can share electrons with what? Oxygen. Okay. Now, covalent bond is formed by what? Sharing of electron. Sharing of electron. See how it is possible. I have taken carbon. There are four valence electrons. One, two, three, four. Carbon can share these electrons with hydrogens. Four hydrogen atoms. So it will form a octet. This can also be formed by what? This way. So these are what? Covalent bonds. Okay. These covalent bonds are formed by sharing of electrons. Now directly come to the structural representation of. Organic compound or organic molecules. Now, first dash formula. Second, Lady structure. Or electron dot structure. Third is condensed formula. And fourth is bond and formula. Or zig zag formula. Now structure formula of any organic compound can be represented by these four different formulas. Now we can take one example. We can take butane. You know that for N, for butane, N is equal to what? 4. And for alkane, general formula is what? Cn H2N plus 2. If you substitute 4 here, then what will you get? C4 
एच ए प्लस टू दैट इज वॉट सी फोर एच टेन इज बी टेन हैव मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला सी फोर एच टेन नो क्वेश्चन आ रहा है वॉट इज मेन बाय मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला वॉट इज मेन बाय मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला इज द फॉर्मूला विच यूज एक्जैक्ट नंबर ऑफ एक्जैक्ट नंबर ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट एटम्स प्रेजेंट इन अ मॉलिक्यूल सो सी फोर एच टेन रिप्रेजेंट देर आर फोर आइटम्स ऑफ कार्बन एंड टेन आइटम्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन दिस दिस वॉट मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला नाउ कम टू ब्यूटेन हाउ टू राइट डाउन डैच फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट यू राइट फोर कार्बन आइटम्स वन टू थ्री फोर नाउ दीज आर कॉल्ड एस टर्मिनल कार्बन आइटम्स so put here you remember here two methyl groups they are present at the terminal carbon atom now these are shown by what dash sorry it can be shown by this way because it is a dash formula now always remember The tetra valency of carbon atom. Tetra valency means what? Carbon shows valency of four. Now this is the first, second, third, fourth. For this carbon, one, two, three, four. Similarly for this carbon, one, two, three, four. For this carbon, one, two, three, four. So it is the dash formula of what? Butene. Now come to the Lewis structure. It is very simple. First you draw. First you draw four carbon atoms. Show four electrons for each one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. For this carbon atom, one, two, three, four. For this carbon atom, one, two, three, four. This four dot represent electrons of carbon. Now, in carbon, have ability to share this four valence electron with different atoms like hydrogen. Hydrogen also share one electron. Can you show me this way also? H, 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 H. Here also. This is. Lewis structure or electron dot structure of butene. Now, here this single bond means two electrons. One dash means single bond and it shows two electrons. Now we can consider again butene in order to write down Kundt's formula. See, in Kundt's formula, in Kundt's formula we don't Require this dash. In order to write down Kundt's formula of butane, Kundt's formula of butane, we have to hide some or all the dash present in this dash formula of butane. So here you get what? First is what CH3. It can be written as H3C. This is okay. Now see the second. Here how many C? CH2, CH2. There are two CH2 groups. It can also be written as CH2 twice, and here you get what CH3. It can also be written as or H3C CH2 CH2 or CH3. Or you can write down H3C CH2. Twice CH3. So there are different ways of writing Kundt's formula. See here CH2 twice. Means in order to write down Kundt's formula, we have to write all dash or some of the dash. We have to write some of the dash. So you get what Kundt's formula. Now see Kundt's formula. See it is expanded. It requires very less, very less place. So it will be Kundt's. Now see the bonding formula. Again, we can consider butane. In bonding formula, we are, we are using a line, a line joining two carbon atoms. 
If you consider this, again we are writing CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. See, this is a 1, 2, 3, 4. Bonded formula for this can be made what? 1, 1, 2. This is 3, 4. So, this is the bonded formula. Bonded formula for beauty. I remove this. This is the bond line formula of butane. See here, this terminal carbon atoms represent for carbon atom as well as this is the junction. Junction of this represent again carbon atoms. This represent what? CH2 group. This represent CH2 and this also this junction represent what CH2 groups in order to satisfy valency and this represent for example uh, take a ethyl alcohol ethyl alcohol it can be what CH3 CH2 OH for this this is the first second 1 2 and here you get what OH this represents CH2 group and this represents CH2 group. So, this is the bond line formula of ethyl alcohol. This is what bond line. Formula of ethyl alcohol. I hope you understood all these formulas. See here, O is what hydrator. So, you have to show this oxygen here. Don't show CH3 or CH2. This is the bonded formula of ethyl alcohol. This is the bonded formula of butane. Now, see this is the dash bonded formula. These are Lewis structures and these are dash formula. They are represented by dash. And you also remember single dash, single dash means single bond, double dash means double bond and triple dash means triple bond this is also you remember triple this is what triple bond means triple covalent bond covalent bond this is also covalent bond this is also covalent bond i hope you understood all these things now see these are what this are the these are the structural representation of organic molecules. Now, in the next lectures, we will we are going to study three-dimensional structures for organic compounds. Okay, I hope you understood all these things. Understand.